Hi, I'm Travis Hessman with Industry Week. I'm here covering 2014 IMTS. I'm here with Peter Eelman, for, uh, Vice President of Exhibitions Communications. Um, and we're standing in front of the Local Motors Project, uh, 3D printing a car live on site uh, at the event. So I wanted to talk to you a little about this project first off, and then just what's going on uh, with 3D printing uh, here. Could you tell me a little a bit about the car, um, about Local Motors and the whole project? Sure, I'll give you a little background. We, we actually started working with Local Motors two years ago, prior to the IMTS 2012 show, and we decided we would bring some excitement to the floor. We built a more traditional car, a rally fighter, which mm -hmm. actually we have outside, the uh, yeah. one that we built here on the floor last year. This year, with the industry interest and overall interest in 3D printing, we talked with local and we talked with uh, several other groups to say, how do we bring this into something more mainstream? What, what everyone kind of knows that you can print small things, 3D printing, you can even buy one for your garage for that matter. Right. But what about big things? And local was interested. We actually got hooked up with Oak Ridge National Laboratories and they have been working with Cincinnati Inc. And here on site, we have a Cincinnati Inc. machine, a Thermwood machine, and local motors. And in their group, they have come up with a concept of 3D printing an electric-powered vehicle that we started a day ago here on the show floor. Uh, when I walked up to the machine yesterday, uh, there was nothing. And by tomorrow, there will be the tub, the bo basic bodywork of the car. That will be removed from the machine, taken over to the local motors area, where they will begin the process of finishing, shaping, putting on tires and controls and the electronics and all the rest of that, with an eye toward finishing by Friday, mm -hmm. starting up the car. And then on Saturday, we're going to, knock on wood, drive it out here into Grand Concourse, up over the bridge, right. take it outside. That's excellent. So I wonder, just if we could talk about 3D printing sure. in general. I mean, this is a big project. It's in the Emerging Technology Center. Um, and last year, 3D printing was mostly here. Uh, there were some small booths uh, out in the, I think, the North Hall. Yep. Um, but there was mostly here, and this is where people came to see it. This year, they're integrated. They're in there with the, um, the machine tools, the grinders and the millers, yes. and then the 3D printers. Can you talk to me a little bit about that evolution, why you decided to move them out of the Emerging Tech and into just the machine uh, manufacturing technology? First off, the concept of emerging technologies is that it, it hasn't quite hit the market yet. Mm -hmm. And that's why ex exactly why what's still here about 3D printing is the large area, the big pieces, because yeah. that's really something that's new and that it, it's kind of just getting into the, the concept of how do you do it. Mm -hmm. Other 3D printing, as I said, I mean, you can buy a 3D printer on Amazon yeah. and you can put it in your garage. Well, a lot of these are now becoming mainstream to make a variety of parts, they're as much a part of the manufacturing community now as any of our other manufacturers. So that's how we kind of approached it is, well, these are now full-fledged members, if you will, of the manufacturing community. They belong within the manufacturing community, and that's exactly how we've, we've done it. They're here in the North Building. Uh, most of the major 3D printing companies are here. They have larger booths than they had in the past, and they're finding an application. They're finding their space within traditional manufacturing client base. All right, so following that narrative, so we can assume in 2016, it's gonna be the big stuff printing that's out on the floor. There's gonna be cars and tractors and airplane parts out there. Well, I don't know if we're gonna go that far. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't really know where the industry is going. Uh, it, this is so, we really are on the front end with this 3D printing of this car. It's, we're in the test, you know, we're in that, yeah. that uh, as you would call it, the bleeding edge. So we really don't know the answer to that question, but I think the way we find out is to do these kinds of things and expand the minds of the engineers that are visiting here to say, hey, maybe we could try that. And maybe it'll work for this project or maybe it'll work for that project. And that's where we'll monitor in the next year or so, where's it going? Is it, is it going to that direction? Or is there gonna be things that mitigate against it? Um, we've had a lot of things here in the Emerging Technology Centers over the years that some were adopted fairly quickly, some are still being adopted, and some kind of just didn't really work out. And I think this will work out. I think this will become a big part of, of projects because of the impact that it can do on prototyping, the impact that it can do on customization. You, you can do one-offs, and that's something that traditional manufacturing has always struggled with, the one-off.
So how are how's the crowd reacting to it? I know we're, we're still early in the show. Um, we're still getting a lot of uh, reactions from it. But these are hardcore manufacturing people here, used to dealing with machine tools and making things traditional way. Are they responding positively to the new technologies? Tremendous buzz. Um, I think what's happened is that uh, as we have come slowly out of the depths of 0809, uh, we find that manufacturers are looking for ideas. Innovation, ideas, automation are the buzzwords. And when you find an idea like this, you no longer have the built-in kind of wariness. There's a lot more embracing of new ideas and new technologies. And we've noticed just from the traffic on our websites, the interest in this project, it's over the, it's over the top. And we, we are expecting attendance here at the show to be better than we've had in 10 years. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that they know they're coming to see something they haven't seen before. Who gets to drive this thing home? <laughs> well, um, we're going to trust the local motors guys first since they built it. Uh, they're going to take it over the bridge and bring it across. But uh, if I'm lucky, maybe we'll get a chance to, to do a little driving of this car in the next couple of years. All right. Well, I think that'll probably do it for us. Well, thanks again. This is Travis Hessen from Industry Week in 2014 IMTS.